Hello and welcome to Scary Spooky Waters, my little home, it's in them. Lately I've been playing Subnautica and I am obsessed with the game. Like, is it the greatest survival game ever made? Possibly might be, I possibly think so. So many possibilities. We're not doing anything crazy today, I just want to show you my little home. This is my base so far. Like it will evolve, like I rebuilt it 17,000 times up to this point. So I'll just show you around, you know, let's get a feel of the place. Like is it home? Do we feel safe? Is this, is this the place for us? So you enter as you can see here, like this is it. I'll show you the outside later. You come in, ah, ooh, kick off your boots, you know, your, your, your swim feet. And, and relax, enjoy the view, little assholes. And I have, you know, some emergency. Like chop chop yum yum. I have this beautiful display. It's from the Aurora, uh, one of my hellish trips there. So this is where I just dump things. You know, I come in, been a long day. I'll sort it out later. So let's first take our ass to the right. Food and office, plus more. But I only had room for one side. We wiggle our ass through the whole way. And ooh, what's this? This is a filtration machine. This makes liquids that I put in my body not to die. Uh, an upholster. Like this is what I would like to be. But if you order this person from Wish, that's what I am right now. So that's, it's not great. Uh, this is some decoration that is non-functional, much like my bravery in this game. Uh, let's go upstairs. Ooh, the garden. Here I plant and stick my fingers in the soil to feel at one with the universe. This is useless. I probably, I don't know what it's for. This leaky plant is actually useful. This marbellon, marbella, mar this is kind of a watermelon. You know, it's good for the body, you know, enjoy it with some filtrated water. Here's more of the same crap because I, I'm not much of a diversity person when it comes to what food I eat, apparently. It's only a tree or a filthy watermelon. When we come up here, this is where the magic happens. This is what powers almost my entire home. I shove rotten things, old things down here. As you can see, there's only one fish there now that powers this, so we might lose power in the middle of this presentation. <laughs> this room is for nothing. Mostly for crying. Like, you feel empty inside, you go inside an empty room and cry. Let the room reflect what you feel on the inside. Empty on the inside, empty on the outside. So you can really hear those cries echoing around you. <laughs> it's very nice. Cleansing, even. We go back down, and once again, I forgot I put a ladder there, but very useful. We head in here. What's this? An office. Beautiful. I can't really push the buttons, but in my mind, if I close my eyes and use my imagination, I'm doing things. Useful. Uh, some posters I got on the Aurora. This crafting station, very handy. I put them all over the place. Um, same as this, medkit, let's pick it up because you know Papa's gonna die. Uh, and here we have our bedroom. Now this is my favorite place in my home. Keep calm, the little wall pussy cat says to me. And I do not. Like, I, I stay calm kinda in this room, but it doesn't last long. So you can see scary sp Oh, look at this. I'll show you this later. But god, isn't this a beautiful room? Like, I would never sleep here. Unless I was super drunk and just passed out next to the bed there. But you know, it's a nice little, little thing. Let's move our ass along. And here we are. Ooh, what's this beautiful snacks? Trash can, aquarium underneath. Like Subnautica is all about establishing respect with fear. This is where I scare the fish back. They have their eyes on top of the head, so they will see things they wish they wouldn't see. But these assholes can't swim upside down, so they will have to see. Oh uh, yeah, how you like these berries bitches? I usually say once a day to feel good about myself, which is nice. Um, all of these are actually from eggs. Where did you come from? No one really knows at this point. But I can go down, go in and pet them. But I don't. I just poke them in the eye and run away. This is a view. Beautiful. I can get snacks. Let's get a snack right now. You should as well. It's very, so important with snacks. Nom 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 nom. Useless, really. Let's go here. 
we have the scan room where I scan all things I need. Not all, but you know, some of them. Enough of them. Another beautiful view. Beautiful. Uh, we can actually look in here. Oh, aquarium. Not only one floor, it's three floors. There would be no point of me to drag my asshole up all this way. I will get exhausted, but you can, you get the point. Unfortunately, I have a lot of these stalkers. But it's very important when you get a stalker to contain the stalker so it really can't follow you. So I like to tease them like, oh, you're trying to stalk me, you can't follow me, you d**k. I usually do, just to, once again, establish fear, establish respect. Unless you come to a Reaper Leviathan, then you just cry, you swim away in your own tears. You'll swim faster because they're hot. Uh, we come here. Oh, what's this? This is my pocket rocket. Nice, this is my favorite vessel. It, you know, I don't even want to talk about the sub outside. It sucks. And my batteries. This is the, you know, the, 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 the info, the things where I can push the pookie pookie. Here I store things. I recently fixed this. I just craft and craft and craft because I kind of want to take on a Reaper Leviathan. Like I feel tough. I feel after I got the... Um, after I got the... I, I don't know where I put it, but the stas stasis rifle. I feel tougher, you know? We move along here. Now this is the storage uh, part of my, my beautiful, beautiful house. We go up. And you can see I've done the exact same here. Lockers all over the place, because apparently you can never get enough. I found out the hard way. So, the nice thing about this storage room is it's the exact same all three floors. So when I need to craft something, cheapity choppity, I need to go up and down and up and down. I can continue because I, I, am, I have amnesia. I forget what I need, so I can check it every single floor. Uh, but the modification station is only here. So I like this, very handy uh, for on the go. Now we'll get outside and have a look, like this is my base, it's not bigger, it's not smaller, it's good enough, it's, it's, it does the trick. Now we can see it from the outside, what do we think, do we like it, are we impressed? Um, I rebuilt it so many times, I actually recorded a video. Where I was gonna, that was the first time I was gonna rebuild my my base, and it sprung a leak, and it was just hell, and I shoved everything down here, and it, it just, I, it didn't go well. These are my my planters. I really wish that I put them differently, but I didn't. So a lot of waste of space here. But at one point, I need to actually redo this because places like where these grow, I never plan on returning. It was too terrifying for a, for a boy like my. Now, I don't know. You've probably seen inside of... Uh, uh, what the hell is it called? This Cyclops. But I recently stacked it. Like, I did a couple of things. So I'll show you where I, I put things. Because I thought it was very nice. Like, I'm good to go for an adventure. Um, of course, another tree. But I put this. It's so handy, because when I need to explore further away in this game, and go crazy, uh, I have things, like I'll, I, I restocked a bunch of medkits, I will restock more. Food and water, salted so it stays, hopefully, I don't know if it stays uh, okay for a long time, um, hopefully it does. And just random, like salt if I catch a fish, and, like I can make more. This will make me last for a while, I'll fill them up before I leave. One planter bed, this is just from the outside. Uh, one planter bed, good for the food. Now here I have Explorer. I have batteries, some beacons, some flares. Um, and then we have torpedoes, which I recently found out because you know the big fat farter fish? You can actually collect their little, little gas balls and make torpedoes. So I made two of the vortex torpedo because it, uh, required magnite and it's a little bit more difficult to get a hold of but now I have some I uh, so that's very good decoys love them uh, it didn't really help me much when it came to the grab squids but this is is good to have I feel like this is very handy I upgraded this so I can have five which is very nice uh, and when it comes to the batteries you can see one is empty I actually put a, a locker up here so I'll 
put extra battery cells because I have put in the update, the extension thing for, uh, let's see, what is it? This, and I tried it and it took a lot of power. So I feel like when I get very scary spooky, I'm gonna need to use this a lot. Uh, and it takes a lot of power, so then I can actually just change these out. Uh, and I sh don't know if I'm actually gonna put a charger in here. I, I think that might be a bad idea. It's better to actually have them, I feel. Um, bring them from home. So that's that. And the last thing, though, is my least favorite thing. Like, I hate that one. The hero. It's called that. Without, for a reason, like there's no heroic moments in this one. I hate it. I hate driving it. I it's hard to see. Everything's just trash. I also hate this one. Like it's ugh, fuck it. But I think it's just a, a matter of, of actually using it more to get comfortable. But yeah, that's my that's my base. Uh, if you do want to join me on some adventures in Subnautica, you can find uh, the Twitch link in the bio, because that's where I stream it. I'm thinking that I will actually make some videos as well outside of the streams, because I don't want to just uh, repost the stream. Um, and there's also a Discord server as well, if you want to join it, and there's a Subnautica room, where you can post pictures of your base, which I love to see. Just no spoilers. Uh, because I do like to be shocked to death and surprised by everything I see. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, I hope you like my boys, and I hope you have a nice day. Take care. Bye.